I'm Alec, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS headquarters in Seattle. Sometimes, customers ask me how to create a custom AppStream image and then deploy it to users. AppStream provides users with the ability to access apps from anywhere, at scale, with all of their resources. Today, we'll work through the process of generating a custom image and then deploying it into production. So let's get started. Here are the major steps we'll go over. Launching an image builder, creating a custom image from an image builder, launching a fleet from the custom image, creating a stack and assigning a fleet, creating users and assigning them to a stack. Let's start with launching an image builder. Log into the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the AppStream Console. Select images from the navigation pane. Choose Image Builder. Select Launch Image Builder. Choose a Base Image Builder option. Enter a name and display name for our image builder. Select an instance type. Enable internet access. Choose a VPC and subnet to launch the image builder into, as well as a security group. Active Directory domain join is optional, and more information is available at the link on your screen. Here, we are not joining a domain. Confirm that your settings are set up as you intended, and then click Launch. Now let's create a custom image using the image builder. After the image builder has started and is in a running state, select the image builder and choose connect. Select administrator. Install all the apps you want to be available to your users. Launch the image assistant application on the desktop. Add all the apps in your image. Choose Next. Switch users to the template user. Open the image assistant again. Open each app and then change its settings to the desired defaults. Choose switch user in the image assistant. Doing this enables your users to get started with apps quickly during their AppStream 2.0 streaming sessions without needing to create or configure these settings themselves. Select the administrator user. In Image Assistant, choose Save Settings. Select Switch User. This time, select Test User. Open Image Assistant and launch each application. Verify that the apps you added open correctly and perform as expected. Switch back to the administrator. Choose Next in the Administrator Image Assistant. Clicking Launch, each app will open sequentially. Image Assistant opens your apps one after the other, identifies their launch dependencies, and then performs optimizations to be sure that the apps launch quickly. These are required steps that are performed on all apps in the list. After each app loads, choose Continue to proceed to the next until complete. Provide a name, display name, description, and tags for your image. Enable the Always Use Latest Agent Version option. It's a best practice that you leave this option selected so that streaming instances that are launched from the image always use the latest version of the agent. If you disable this option, you can't re-enable it after you finish creating the image. Confirm your image settings, and then choose Disconnect and Create Image. Now let's launch a fleet from a custom image. After your image is created, select Fleets in the navigation pane of the AppStream console. Choose Create Fleet. Enter a name, display name, description, and tags for your fleet. Choose Next. Select your custom image. Choose Next. Choose an instance type, and then a fleet type. Choose a maximum session duration and a disconnect timeout. Leave fleet capacity at the default settings. Choose Next. Select the appropriate network options. Active Directory Domain Join is optional. In this tutorial, we're not joining a domain. Choose Next. Confirm the fleet settings 
and then choose create. Check the box and then choose create again. Choose the link on your screen for more information about creating a fleet. Now I'll cover creating a stack and assigning a fleet. With your fleet in a running state, the only remaining resource required to connect to your fleet is a stack. Select stacks in the navigation pane of the AppStream console. Choose Create Stack to open the wizard. Enter a name, display name, description, redirect URL, and feedback URL if desired. Select your fleet from the list. Choose Next. Select if you want to provide a persistent storage option to your users. If no persistent storage is required, uncheck all options. Choose Next. Set your user settings as desired. Decide whether application settings persistence is necessary for your users. If this isn't required, uncheck the option. Choose Review. You can access the link on your screen for more information about how application settings persistence works. Confirm your settings, then choose Create. You can access the link on your screen for more information about creating stacks. Now let's go over creating users and assigning them to a stack. There are three main access modes for AppStream 2.0. Streaming URLs, user pools, and SAML. If you're using a fleet that's joined to an Active Directory domain, SAML is required. In this tutorial, because the fleet is not joined to an Active Directory domain, we can use streaming URLs, user pools, or SAML. I'll demonstrate how to create a user pool user, assign the user to a stack, and then connect. Select user pool in the navigation pane of the AppStream console. Choose create user. Then enter your user's email, first name, and last name. Choose create user. Place a check next to one or more of your users. Choose actions and assign stack. Choose your stack. Leave the email notification option checked and choose assign. Now we're ready to access our streamed apps. A tutorial to create custom images is available by going to the link on your screen. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.